Good evening, everybody. It's Jeff Kessinger with the Christian County Headliner News at Bulldog Stadium in Carl Junction, Missouri, where the Nixa Eagles dropped a 34-0 decision to Carl Junction tonight. Carl Junction, the number two ranked team in Class 4. And this is the last game of the regular season, so now it's on to district time. And even though it was not a win, Nixa coach Rich Hagen said he was happy with the effort his club gave in the regular season finale. You know, I know it's 34-0. It's not the result we wanted, but I felt like our kids played really hard. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't know if we would. I didn't, you know, and as far as when I say that, uh, there's not a lot that wasn't set for us. We're just coming down here and playing. And uh, I thought our kids played hard uh, against a good football team. Carl's got a nice football team over there. It was just a 7-0 game at the end of the first quarter, and one thing you're going to notice is these are all short touchdown runs for the Carl Junction Bulldogs. Nothing more than 11 yards on scoring plays tonight. That one made it 7-0 in the first quarter. Carl Junction scored twice in the second quarter. This is a caper by quarterback Joe Kennedy as he powers his way into the end zone. And then you get one more run here by Raekwon Weston right before the half. Nixon made Carl Junction snap it and snap it and snap it again and avoided giving up the big plays to a very, very good offense. I thought so. I thought our kids kept making some, you know, I thought we made a lot of plays on D. And uh, they do have some playmakers to get away now and then, move the had them in some long situations where they make some long plays, you know, 15, 20, whatever. But uh, I thought our kids played well. I thought our, you know, uh, defense was, was moving around and, and put them in some bad spots. We didn't always make the play, but we had them in some bad spots. Here's one of those very good plays by the Nixa defense. They pile up Raekwon Weston and Ozzie Garcia comes in to finish it up. Uh, that stalled that drive out, although the Bulldogs did later go ahead and find the end zone. Nixa got close to finding the end zone a few times itself and just were off the mark. Here's quarterback Jack Sanders throwing into the end zone for Chandler McAtee. That one gets batted away at the last second. Um, another Jack Sanders pass into the end zone. This one is headed to Lucas Roman, and it's going to be maybe just a little bit too tall for the Eagles wide receiver. Uh, so the, the Eagles got close on several occasions, but never could find the end zone. And it'd be remiss if we did not show you the play of the game tonight. Watches Kennedy bobbles the snap, scoops it up, and heads for the end zone. He's going to fly over the defender here and into the end zone. And that Get is the last touchdown of the night. So 34 to nothing was the final. The Eagles finished their regular season five and four, and now they move on to district play. And as coach Richard Hagen said, district play is a big goal for his team every year. And this team was no different. They set a goal before the season to get back to a district championship game against Carthage. One goal is to win district. And, uh, you know, talking with our kids and, you know, our off season, it's like the number one for them. And, uh, you know, go out and try to pursue it. You know, no, we've uh, got a tough district. There's some good teams in there. But go try to pursue it and, uh, and try to, you know, extend our year. So what's going to be next for Nixa? Uh, as of right now, it looks like the Eagles will hold on to the second seed in Class 5, District 5. That gives them a first round bye, and then they would likely play Willard in the next round. Willard could pass Nixa in points in the district standings. Those have not been finalized yet. But if they do, there is a... Um, a protocol where if you are one spot behind a team and you beat them in the regular season, you can flip-flop them. Nixa took advantage of that last year to get a first round by over Neosho, and that could be the case this year over Willard as well. So that would mean no game next week for Nixa. They're a little bit banged up right now, especially along the defensive and offensive lines, so they could really use a chance to heal and rest and get ready for the second round of the district tournament. Uh, across the county in Ozark, the Tigers were 42-14 to winners tonight over Bolivar. Alec McChesney is going to have a video about that for you. Ozark will likely not get a first round by their districts. Uh, Class 5 District 4 has not been finalized yet either, but it is looking like Ozark will be home next week to host the Central Bulldogs in the first round of the district tournament. That will be our Ozark Chevrolet game of the week if that's the case. Uh, if Tigers managed to get a win there. They would likely go to Lebanon or perhaps Camdenton, but again, that has not been finalized yet, and we will get that at ccheadliner.com uh, as soon as we know. Speaking of ccheadliner.com, check there later tonight. We'll have a story from this game as well as a full photo gallery. We'll also have a story and photos for you from Ozark's win at Bolivar tonight. So that'll do it for me here. Thank you all so much for watching tonight, and enjoy your weekend, Christian County.